This video describes our paper, Deep Reactive Planning in Dynamic Environments, which has been accepted for publication at the Conference on Robot Learning 2020. Humans demonstrate amazing ability to replan very quickly when an environment changes. This ability is likely to result from the generalization capability that humans develop through practice. For a baseball player, these would be many successful swings performed during target practice or many variations of the trajectory of the incoming ball. While recently we have seen tremendous progress in reinforcement learning and deep learning, designing artificial agents which can demonstrate such behavior still remains elusive. Our work is motivated by designing agents that can demonstrate such intelligent behavior by reacting to changes in an environment during execution. Motivated by this problem, we consider the problem of reactive planning in dynamic environments. These are the kind of environments which can change during operation of a robot. As shown in the left figure, the task is reaching a desired goal location where the goal can change during operation. We assume some generic operational constraints. For example, the 6DOF manipulator has state and control limits as well as the geometric constraints imposed by, it, by its links and other obstacles. Also, the environment dynamically changes during an episode and we cannot explicitly observe environment information such as the obstacle and goal locations. The objective is to minimize control jumps and the time to reach the goal state while avoiding collision with obstacles in an end-to-end -end fashion from just a vision sensor. So how do we solve this problem? Traditionally, people have used a path planning algorithm such as RRT star, which can generate optimal paths. However, these methods take time to generate a path and thus cannot reactively move in dynamic environments. Supervised learning could enable us to generate a path by imitating the optimal paths generated by using an offline planner in different environments. However, this still is a kinematic plan and does not consider the dynamics of a robot. Recently, reinforcement learning is used to generate optimal actions by optimizing a reward function, but it usually takes huge number of samples to converge to an optimal policy. In this paper, we combine these three components to learn a controller that reactively produces dynamically feasible trajectories while converging much faster than just using only reinforcement learning. Our end-to-end -end framework consists of four components. First, a real-to-sim transfer module maps real images to synthetic images, which allows us to learn subsequent training pipelines only in simulation. Then, an offline and off-the-self path planning algorithm provides optimal path dataset given different environments. Next, we use supervised learning to generate collision-free waypoints or sub-goals by imitating the generated dataset in the second module. Finally, reinforcement learning takes the collision-free, goal-oriented path and produces dynamically feasible optimal actions that controls the robot. Our main idea is to decouple planning and control for an agent that moves in an obstacle cluttered environment. This allows us to generalize to novel environments as the supervised learning can generate waypoints for arbitrary environments after training and the RL agent can follow any arbitrary trajectory after training with reinforcement learning. Furthermore, the goal-oriented reference path encourages the RL agent to explore only limited regions and thus helps improve sample efficiency. Next, we will be going through the details of these different components, starting with real to sim transfer. In the first module, we train a real to sim transfer function, which maps real images to simulated images using a convolutional encoder decoder network by minimizing an image to image transfer loss function that encourages to generate simulated images. This real to sim transfer module allows us to train subsequent reactive planning policy only in simulation. 
Next, we train a CNN model that generates optimal paths in arbitrary environments using supervised learning. First, we reset environments by randomly changing the position of the start state, the goal state, and the obstacles. Then we produce an optimal path for each environment by using bidirectional RRT star algorithm. Finally, we train a CNN model, which we call the waypoints generator to imitate the generated optimal paths in a supervised learning manner. The output of the waypoints generator is the sequence of the waypoints. Specifically, in our paper, we use five waypoints. This waypoints generator enables to reactively produce collision-free optimal path that guides the agent to a goal state, even if the environment changes during an episode. In the final module, we train an RL agent to produce dynamically feasible actions. We condition the RL agent with generated waypoints. The RL agent takes the sequence of the waypoints, latent variables of the environment using VAE and the internal robot state as an input and generates low level action to closely track the waypoints. Moreover, we exploit the generated waypoints in two ways. First, we exploit the waypoints to improve sample efficiency of RL by utilizing it as a reward function. The reward function consists of two functions which comes from the original RL setting and the waypoints based reward terms. We aim to improve sample efficiency by utilizing the additionally defined waypoints based two reward terms as shown in red. The fourth term limits exploration area by penalizing the distance to the waypoints, whereas the fifth term encourages the agent to move along the waypoints towards the goal state. These waypoints based reward term provides dense reward signal to reach the goal state and thus improves sample efficiency of learning the RL agent. Also the three reward terms which come from original RL setting enables to learn to generate optimal trajectory in terms of time and angular accelerations. An important point to note here is that the RL agent learns a path conditional policy or in other words a path tracking policy. This allows flexibility in achieving generalization as the agent is not trained for a specific goal state. As a result, as long as the waypoints generator provides a feasible path to the RL module, the agent can follow it to reach the desired goal state. We also exploit the waypoints for curriculum learning. Since the waypoints generator cannot produce optimal paths, when an RL agent deviates too far to a domain where it doesn't generalize well. We solve this problem by using the waypoints generator to reset initial states when an episode begins. We aim to use this to stabilize the training. To wrap up, our end-to-end -end reactive planning method consists of three parts. First, Real to sim transfer allows us to learn subsequent policies only in simulation by learning a transfer function from real images to simulated ones and thus making training the reactive policy much more efficient. Then the waypoints generator reactively provides collision free optimal paths that also encodes environments information that is the goal and the obstacles which allows us to remove designing explicit tracker for the obstacles and the goal for the robot. Finally, path conditioned RL generates dynamically feasible optimal action while improving sample efficiency by exploiting waypoints information. Next, we are going to verify our method in a simulated environment as well as some real robotic experiments. To do that, we prepare two environments. The first one is a peg insertion environment with a real robot with and without obstacles where the agent is required to move towards the red box with a hole while avoiding collision with obstacles. In this environment, we control the robot arm in Cartesian space. The second one is a pick and place environment in simulation where the agent starts from a cube on a bookshelf and is required to move towards a randomly located box in configuration space. 
We first evaluate the performance of the waypoints generator with respect to different number of training data collected in the real system. The training and evaluation data are sampled from different discretized goal positions where 100% corresponds to 10,000 images that takes about three hours to collect on the real system. We compare three different methods, including our real to sim transfer. First, real only directly maps real images to the waypoints, which does not use both simulated images and real to sim transfer. The second method uses a mix of real images and simulated images. For the simulated images, we use 50,000 images generated using the simulator. Finally, we evaluate our method of real to sim transfer and the simulated images. This approach separately learns two models. First, we train real to sim transfer model that maps real images to the simulated images. Secondly, we train the waypoints generator only using the simulated images. We evaluate the performance of each method using two metrics. First, success rate whether the agent, agent can reach a goal state without colliding with obstacles. Second, the waypoint error where the average error in reproducing the waypoints generated by bidirectional RRT star. This slide shows the results of the experiments. We can see that the combination of real to sim transfer and training waypoints generator only in simulation performs best among three different methods. It also works well even if the collected data is only 10% of the full data, which corresponds to about 20 minutes of robot time on the real system. Thus, we showed the real to sim transfer works well, and this enables subsequent policy optimization process only in simulation. Then we evaluate the generalization capability of our method with respect to novel environments. For the test environment, we prepared two test cases. First, we change positions of the obstacle and goal by stopping the robot when it reaches the goal state for safety. And secondly, we dynamically change the goal position during an episode. This table shows the result. The real only baseline does not generalize to novel environments at all, but our method can reactively track the moving goal positions and change the path by observing changes in the environments. These videos show the qualitative results of moving goal environment. You can see that our robot successfully tracks the goal position. These movies are the results of random goal and obstacle environment, and you can see the robot successfully adapts to the changes in the environment. It is important to note that we do not explicitly track the obstacle and goal positions. The changes in the environment are observed by a vision sensor and path is encoded in the form of waypoints generated by the trained waypoints generator in a simulator. This movie shows some failure cases. Some of the failure cases happen when the reconstructed simulated images are not similar to the true simulated images. For example, in this case, the goal box next to the obstacle in reconstructed simulated image is too vague for the waypoints generator to know where is the goal. This example is again similar. The real to same transfer model failed to reconstruct the obstacle located in front of the robot and as a result, the robot collides with the obstacle. In the final experiment, we compare the sample efficiency of our path conditioned RL with respect to an RL agent that does not use waypoints. The baseline agent does not exploit the waypoints information, so it takes the robot state and the latent variables of the environment encoded by using VAE. As for our path conditioned RL, we prepare two settings. The first agent exploits the waypoints for only reward shaping, whereas the second agent exploits it for both reward shaping and curriculum learning. We also compare the quality of the generated trajectories against an officially provided PID controller of the robot 
that we used for this experiment. This figure shows the comparison results. From left to right, we show training curves of the episodic returns, the goal reach rate, and the steps needed to reach the goal state. Comparing our method with baseline in the figures, we can clearly see that our agent converges much faster than the baseline agent. We can also see that the curriculum learning makes convergence performance much better and our agent converges much faster. Next, this slide shows the comparison of the quality of the generated trajectories in terms of the time to reach the desired goal state and angular acceleration to reach the goal state. The table shows that, that our reinforcement learning based controller reaches the desired state 1.9 times faster than the PID controller. It also shows that our method can generate much higher quality trajectories that have much lower angular acceleration profiles. To conclude our work, we presented an end-to-end -end policy that can perform reactive planning for robotic systems in dynamic environments. The proposed system consists of four pipelines that we explained earlier. By using these pipelines, we demonstrated that the proposed method outperforms several baseline methods and allows a 6DOF manipulator arm to perform reactive planning in complex dynamic environments. For more details, please check our paper, which has been accepted at Coral 2020. And thank you for listening.